So you want to become a full stack web developer. In this video, I'll show you a full roadmap that will guide you through everything you need to know and learn to become a proficient full stack developer. First thing first, what exactly is full stack development? Imagine building a house. The front end is the design and the interior of that building. But the back end is the structure and the things that goes on behind the scenes that makes everything work, such as plumbing, electricity installation, and more. So think of full stack developers as the architects who understand every layer. In web development, we have the front end, which is basically how the website looks and how it is presented, while the back end is the operations that goes on behind the scenes that makes that website functional. Mastering both the front end and the back end will really put you in a good position in your career. The journey begins with the front end, the part of the web that the user interacts with. The first thing to learn is HTML. HTML is a markup language that lays the foundation for every website. It allows you to build out the basic structure of a web page. HTML is fairly easy to learn as it doesn't have too much complex concepts. After learning HTML, the next thing to learn is CSS. CSS adds style and flair to a website. It allows you to make various levels of design on a website from simple to advanced designs. CSS takes a bit of time to learn as there's a few concepts to understand such as selectors and properties, box models, layouts, positioning, responsive design, and more. Once you have a good understanding of CSS, the next thing to learn is JavaScript. Now, JavaScript brings life to a website by turning static pages interactive. It's about making elements on a web page respond to user actions. By learning JavaScript, you learn how to control things on a web page, like showing or hiding information based on clicks. While learning JavaScript, you will learn general programming concepts like variables, functions, loops, and more. After gaining proficiency in JavaScript, the next step is to learn a front-end framework. These frameworks are designed to simplify the development of complex and interactive web applications. There are various front-end frameworks, but the most popular ones are React, Angular, and Vue.js. Learning one of these will take your front-end skills to the next level, as they offer pre-written reusable code segments that can drastically reduce the time and effort needed for developing dynamic user interfaces. They also bring structure to your code, making it easier to maintain and scale projects. Learning a front-end framework not only enhances your development skills, but also opens up more opportunities in web development. This is because most modern web applications use these technologies for a more efficient and effective development process. Once you are comfortable with front-end technologies, it's time to learn about version control, a very important skill in web development. Now think of version control as a way to save your work so that you can go back to any point if something goes wrong. To learn version control, you need to learn Git and GitHub. Git is the most popular tool for version control. It lets you track changes and work on different parts of your project without messing up the main version. GitHub is a website where you can store your projects using Git. It's like a cloud storage service for your code, but it also lets you collaborate with others easily. Learning Git and GitHub is like learning to save your game in web development. It ensures you can always pick up where you left off and work with others smoothly. After mastering front-end technologies, it is time to explore the back-end. This is where all the data processing, storage, and server-side logic happens, making your application functional and dynamic. First up, you will need to choose a programming language. If you have used JavaScript on the front-end, Node.js allows you to use JavaScript on the back-end as well by using the Express framework. And this creates a seamless development experience. But particularly for backend development, there are other languages that are also majorly used. One of them is Python. If you learn Python, you can use frameworks like Django or Flask, which are great for building robust applications, especially with Python's strengths in data manipulation and analysis. Another one is Ruby. Ruby on Rails is another backend framework that uses the Ruby programming language, and it offers conventions that can speed up development. Lastly, we have PHP. PHP remains a widely used option for server-side scripting. Now, choosing any one of these will set you on the right path to mastering backend development. Let's talk about where to store your data. Databases are the standard way of storing and processing data, and choosing the right type is key. 
There are two types of databases, SQL and NoSQL. SQL databases are perfect for structured data and complex queries. On the other hand, NoSQL databases are suited for flexible, schema-less data structures, offering scalability and performance advantages in certain scenarios. You can start by learning how to use SQL databases like PostgreSQL, then learn about NoSQL databases like MongoDB. Having a knowledge of both will put you in a good position as you'll be able to choose when to use either of them depending on a project's requirement. After understanding databases, you should learn about APIs. API stands for Application Programming Interfaces. It serves as the bridge connecting your front and back ends, allowing them to communicate and exchange data. RESTful APIs have been the standard for web communication, offering simplicity and flexibility. Understanding these backend technologies completes your transformation into a full stack web developer as you are now capable of handling both the client side and server side of web applications. Now I'm currently working on a full backend development course called Backend Mastery. This course is aimed to take you from being a beginner to a full backend developer. And if you already have some coding experience and you just want to improve your skills in backend development, then this course is for you. I am still working on the course and if you want to know when the course launches, go to backendmastery.com or click the link in the description below and you can just input your email and you'll get updates on the progress of the course and you'll also be the first to know when the course launches. As you go deeper into web development, equipping yourself with the right tools and adopting best practices becomes paramount. It is not just about what you build, but how you build it. First off, every developer needs a reliable code editor and Visual Studio Code stands out for its versatility. It supports numerous programming languages, it also integrates with Git for version control, and it has a vast ecosystem of extensions to streamline your workflow. When it comes to testing APIs, a tool like Postman is invaluable. It allows you to design, test, and document APIs with ease, ensuring that your applications communicate effectively and reliably. But building great features is not only part of the equation. Security is equally critical. Familiarizing yourself with HTTPS ensures that data between your user's browser and your server is encrypted, protecting it from eavesdroppers. Learn about JSON Web Tokens, also known as JWTs, as it offers a secure way to transmit information between parties as JSON objects. This is very important for the security of your application. Now, adopting these tools and practices not only enhances the quality and security of your project, but also positions you as a conscientious developer who prioritizes efficiency and user protection. As you continue to grow in your web development journey, remember that the right tools not only make your job easier, but also elevate the standard of your work, reflecting your commitment to excellence and most importantly, security. Having owned your web development skills, it's time to put them on display. A diverse portfolio showcasing everything from designs to complex applications is essential for demonstrating your abilities to potential employers. Beyond your own projects, contributing to open source and networking are invaluable. Contributions to open source projects highlight your skills and collaboration, while networking through social media, meetups, and tech conferences connects you with the industry, uncovering opportunities you might not find elsewhere. Together, these steps form a powerful strategy for launching your career in full stack web development. And there you have it, the complete full stack web development roadmap. From the fundamentals of front and back end technologies to the tools and practices that will set you apart, you are now equipped to start your journey into the world of web development. Thank you for watching and if you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. And also check out my related videos and playlists in the description below to continue your learning journey. That will be all for now and I'll see you in the next one.